What comes to your mind when you think about Cuba? Is it cigar, salsa, or Che Guevara? Or is it poverty, oppression, and human rights violation? If it's the latter, then your thoughts are on the right track. Cuba is a country full of conflicts, having a magnificent past and dreadful present. But what caused Cuba to face such bad luck? In this video, we will discover the shocking truth about how Cuba became insanely poor and its impact on its society. Unleashing the contradiction. Cuba is a land full of contrasts, like a complicated puzzle having two different sides. From one perspective, Cuba is famous for its lively music, globally renowned cigars and rum that mumbles the bygone stories. On the contrary, it hides a narrative of struggles and hardships, where life seems to be walking on an uneven path. This journey will lift the veil off the Cuban's enigma. We will expose those crisp differences between the island's rich cultural heritage and everyday deprivation that citizens of Cuba face. Cuba is a tale, collecting both glory and despair together. To get the full picture, we must first understand the aspects that make this nation a truly interesting destination. The passionate dance, delightful music, spirited art, and the aroma of those cigars are the elements of Cuba's attraction that enchanted the minds and hearts of people globally. However, it is vital to grasp that today's Cuba stands contrary to that golden era in the mid-20th century, brimming with economic prosperity and high quality of life. Heyday of Cuba. Booming prosperity. Let's travel back to the time when Cuba had it all. It was time in the middle of the 20th century, and Cuba was having a moment of glory. The nation was on the groove, enjoying moments in rising prosperity and high living standards. Amid this period, Cuba was thriving like a champion. Cubans had great employment and were earning loads of money. The economy was flourishing with the production of the world's best-known cigars. The music and dance of Cuba were practiced and celebrated all around the world. The streets of Cuba were brimmed with the high-spirited rhythm of salsa, with people dancing lively. The vibrant art in Cuba reflected the nation's success during that era. One of the main reasons behind the prosperity of Cuba was its successful sugar industry. Cuba used to produce tons of sugars, export it to several countries, and make big bucks. Apart from that, the tourism industry was also thriving. Tourists from all over the world swarmed the breathtaking beaches of Cuba, enjoying the warm sun and transparent blue waters. But the true turning point came when Fidel Castro, a magnetic leader, advanced the Cuban Revolution in 1959, taking charge of the entire nation. He promised to improve everyone's life, including the poor class. Thus, the government seized several companies owned by rich Cubans and other international companies. This alteration in charge, power, and economic strategies transformed the entire Cuba. The government brought a number of improvements in healthcare and education, but it also caused a rift in the relations with the United States, leading to the infliction of a trade embargo. This ongoing embargo persists to this day, eroding Cuba's economy and its journey towards success with each passing day. The era before Fidel Castro in the mid-20th century was lucky for Cuba, it was the era of assurance and aptitude, emergence of economic meltdown. Now let's delve deep into the transformation of Cuba. We stopped in the 1950s, the period of assurance and aptitude. However, the circumstances shifted in an unexpected way. When Fidel Castro took hold of Cuba following the revolution in 1959, he proposed and implemented new policies. He leaned towards socialism, giving the government a significant role in making economic decisions. In simple terms, the sugar and tobacco industries were then owned by the government. From one angle, this change brought many good things. More and more people had easy access to healthcare and education. However, it had its own challenges. Challenges like the departure of rich Cubans and foreign investors as they lose control of their properties. The United States seemed to detest this and disfavored the change. The strained relations kept growing and the United States put an embargo on Cuba. An embargo serves as a massive stop sign for trade. To sum things up, Cuba wasn't able to sell and buy products with the United States easily. This resulted in the shrinkage of Cuba's economy. Cuba attempted to find other nations to trade with, such as the Soviet Union. However, Cuba lost it too when it collapsed in 1991. This is when economic turmoil began. 
The Cubans began encountering the shortage of fuel and food, making life harder than ever. The government at this moment tried to handle this crisis by implementing rationing and price control measures. The era became a nightmare for the Cubans. It was like a survival of the fittest period. The global financial crisis in 2008 shook the world, including Cuba. Thus, the government decided to cut off several things, severely affecting the lives of Cubans. A number of Cubans became jobless, and the monthly compensation was a meager sum. The Cuban economy saw significant ups and downs from the rise in 1950s to the recession in 1990s and 2000s. The Cuban people, despite enduring the challenges, kept showcasing resilience and resourcefulness. Present life of Cubans Cuba is entirely a different destination than it was in the 1950s and even in the disastrous period in the 1990s. The present life of Cubans is more challenging. The most tragic part of their life is the lowest monthly wage. Cubans keep their shoulders to the wheel and earn peanuts, making it highly impossible for them to acquire the things they need. Despite the fact that essential services like healthcare and education are provided by the government, Cubans often strive to earn extra bucks by engaging in side hustles. Apart from that, Cuba most of the time faces the inadequacy of food. At times, it becomes difficult to come across your desired food item in the store. In simple terms, Cubans wait in long queues to purchase the available food items. What adds to the difficulties is the transportation system. Although there are buses and taxis, people often endure long waiting times. Additionally, there are occasions when vehicles suffer from fuel shortages, making it a tough task for Cubans to move from one place to another. Construction and housing pose another major concern. Most of the buildings in Cuba are quite old and need maintenance. Cuban families might find themselves in compact apartments, but discovering a suitable living place can pose a frequent challenge. Despite all the struggles, Cubans foster a strong sense of community and creativity. Cubans readily find ways to back each other up and make the best of what they already have. The non-stop music, dance and art continuously bloom, offering a getaway from daily challenges. In certain aspects, Cuba appears to have halted in its tracks, with its vintage cars and architecture. However, it's also a place where Cubans find pleasure in the simplest things. Potential path toward betterment. As we round off the tragic journey of Cuba, it's vital to consider the road ahead for this resilient nation. While ongoing challenges persist, Cuba also holds potential and promise for the future. The future of Cuba possesses opportunities for economic growth and diversification. With the ever-changing world, Cuba can potentially rebuild its trade relationships and develop its industries. Cuba's rich cultural heritage, including brilliant music, dance and art, serves as a source of global entertainment and could also be a mainstay for its economic revival. The betterment in the relationship of the USA and Cuba can be a cause of a brighter future for Cuba. Clear communication and diplomacy can build a more constructive relationship, benefiting both the nations while letting Cuba control its economic struggles. Cubans' high spirit, diversity and adaptability supported them through the tough times and can continue to play a crucial role in changing Cuba's fate. Cuba's tale showcases how history, world's politics and the robust Cuban spirit live together as one. It's a tale assembling both good and bad aspects, imparting the lesson that nations and their citizens can discover routes to prosperity, advancement and optimism even in the hard times. With that, let's bring this video to a close. 